What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video, then you are eligible for the giveaway of a 5th anniversary racing snail mount. And the winner of that is... Uh, right up there. Congratulations, we'll be sending the code to you on your YouTube inbox, so make sure to check out there. If you guys would like to be eligible for another racing snow mount, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server. Punch that like button and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We'll announce a winner in the next weekend video. And also, I have to throw out a quick thank you to Jeremiah S., whose character is Elwyn, for doing a $50 donation. Wow. Thank you so much, man. I cannot thank you enough. But I had to make it in a video, so <laughs> because that was a lot of money, man. Uh, thank you for everybody that donates. But... Uh, Everybody keeps on asking me what is the best way in order to make platinum in the game. So uh, I figured I'd go ahead and slap together a little bit of a guide to show you guys exactly what I do to make platinum and uh, what you guys can do too. Because uh, anything that takes a lot of effort, I really don't want to do it. So uh, if it, it take for instance, there are ways to make platinum such as playing the market with the auction house. You can go around gathering resources and stuff like uh picking up the the wood and stuff that's on the ground and selling it on the auction house or else mining and all that stuff but that's very tedious work right there and uh, people that play the market have to pretty much have a little bit of a passion for playing that kind of stuff like uh manipulating stuff like that because it, it, if you don't enjoy that it's going to get old really really fast uh people do try to play the market with crafting as in they try to find out what is the most desirable items on the auction house and craft that item and then sell it for a lot of platinum on there but uh that's just not me uh i used to do that kind of stuff but it got old fast on me all right so the way that i make platinum is i do the old instance raids and these are uh the level 50 raids and you can do them once a week each one of them once a week on each character so uh, the main one that pays off the best is Green Scales Blight, and this is the first boss of it right here. Uh, Green Scales Blight pays off, uh, let's see, I have it written down here. It pays off about 185 platinum. So uh, between the boss plat and also the other items that you'll be selling, that is quite a bit of platinum for about a 15 minute venture. So uh, let's go ahead and smash down this boss. We're just going to do a basic, uh, you know, DPS rotation here. Not really trying to optimize anything. This is kind of face roll. We're just going to smash this guy down without much problem, hopefully. As you can see, I have my macro set up in a certain way to where a uh, plague bringer will trigger if I uh, hit a macro a certain way. So it kind of spans my screen whenever I'm not ready for a uh, plague bringer to be up. So let's go ahead and viral stream him. I wasn't even paying attention to my cooldowns and stuff, but that's okay. I'm just going to completely ignore the ads right now because they're no problem at all. Uh, with these kind of instances like this, it's really recommended to run something that whenever you DPS, it actually heals you. So I run a uh, Reaver that allows me to go ahead and heal up the entire time. Uh, that I'm DPS in and it does really good DPS as well. So it's really nice All right, so as you guys can see we got him down. Um, I even got an achievement for that for some reason But let's go ahead and loot this and then you will see all these items that I just picked up here uh, They they sell pretty good um, Let's see you got pretty much a platinum out of each one of these and then as I defeat the bosses coming up, it'll be even more platinum. I'll get to loot the bosses and uh, open these chests. And it'll, it'll create more chests each time. If you guys need a whole guide on this Green Skills Blight, actually how to do every bit of it, then I will put a guide right up, the, up there. Yeah, where it doesn't cut off my finger there. But yeah, you'll go ahead and uh, click on the guide up there and you can see how to do Green Skills Blight. Now, there are four of the main... Uh, 
instance raids for level 50 and each one of them play, it pays off pretty good with uh, platinum so you got uh, green skills blight you got the guild of prophecy you got drowned halls and also rise of the phoenix now i have guides on green skill blight and also the guild of prophecy because those are the two uh like main or yeah, I think it's uh, Guild of Prophecy that I made a guide on. You know, it might be Drown Hall, so. <laughs> but uh, either way, I'll put both of the guides up there so that you guys can just click on them. But uh, basically, if you do all four of these instances, you will get about 400 to 450 platinum. And the the commitment to them is really short. I mean, Green Scales Blight is probably the longest one of them all because you got to do the maze. Uh, I usually just run through all the mobs and go straight to the boss and then go into hiding as a as a reaver so that makes it to where i can fly through this a lot faster than a lot of other people if you actually play like a rogue or something that can stealth you can stealth through this stuff as well and go straight to the bosses uh but like i said if you do all four instances it will give you about 400 to 450 platinum uh per week so if you have multiple characters you can do it on each one of those characters i have five different characters so yeah if i really wanted to do all of the instance raids and it would take less than an hour to do every single one of them uh on each character then you know i'm going to walk away with a lot of platinum now uh, it, it is a it is a matter of wanting to do farming though because if you're somebody that doesn't want to do the same thing over and over well why are you playing riff but <laughs> but basically uh this is how you farm platinum and it is the best way to do it if you're not playing the market or something like that so hope you guys enjoyed this guide if you did make sure to punch that like button uh you guys have been inspiring me to make more and more guides i love all the feedback that you guys give me uh so keep giving the feedback and i'll keep giving you the guides and thank you to everybody that supports the channel uh whichever way you do it i appreciate it all right guys as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time